my name is Sarah. I'm the founder of Terra Flower Design Studio, a full-service flower design studio specializing in garden style arrangements for home, events and weddings, and also flower design courses. We are proud to be an approved training organization under SkillsFuture Singapore. I have been teaching flower design for over seven years and today we will be doing an organic vase arrangement. A flower arrangement organically arranged in a vase using a structure of leaves. This is a very therapeutic activity where you can just do it in the comforts of your own home whenever you need to relieve stress. Today we are going for a vibrant spring theme with bright yellow, lilacs, pinks, and cappuccino. We'll be using menta and cappuccino roses, reflex spray roses, blocks, sweet sarah spray roses, helenium, yellow and pink alstromerias, Green Bell Spray Carnations Panicum and Pitosporum Master Foliage Base This will create a structure to hold the rest of our flowers in place We need to first condition our flowers removing all the leaves and thorns before we start This will ensure the longevity of the flowers and also ensure nothing falls into the vase while arranging. You do not need to remove too much leaves on the top as we want some leaves at the intersection to better hold the rest of the flowers. We will be using Pitosporum to create a structure. Cut the stems to an appropriate length. Add them in four different angles to create a grid. For larger arrangements, you may want to double the number of stems. We can now add our filler flowers in the same angles. One tip for this arrangement style would be to add your filler flowers first so your focal flowers can shine. We love using panicum for a garden style arrangement as they give a wild and rustic vibe. We can also add some line flowers like campanula or bell flowers if you want to create a large arrangement which is less rounded.
will now add our focal roses so they pop. The last step would be to touch up the lines or spot like certain flowers in a negative space. Always remember to layer your blooms so the arrangement is lush and interesting. Now that the arrangement is almost completed, I'll check for any empty areas and add accent flowers for more textures and interest. Once you are happy with how it's looking, add water and ensure there is no fallen leaves or petals in it. Your home arrangement is now done. Place it somewhere cool and make sure you change the water every day. You can also use scented blooms in your arrangements to let their aroma relieve your stress. This is a wonderful way to relax your mind. 